Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense, hence you can't just sit on the fence. Contrary to foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers, we spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins are the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a one feet one trying to see who wins. And UFC. First of all, I want to say commiserations to Arsenal <laughs> Football Club. Yeah! <laughs> hey, listen, look, they, they uh, have started the season superbly. Unfortunately, they came up against a motivated Manchester United side who were devastating on the counter-attack and they couldn't deal with them in moments. And I'll put an emphasis in moments because we're not all the way there yet. Think of Old Trafford. We started very quickly and that filtered out really quickly as well. And Arsenal started to ascend. I even saw Happy saying it on stream. Arsenal started to ascend and they got dangerous. Fortunately, we went in at halftime 1-0 up. And that second half, Arsenal got their equaliser and it was well deserved because they were putting a lot of pressure on us where we came out very lackadaisical and looked tired, honestly. They dominated the midfield and really put a lot of pressure on us there. And then the counter-attacking moments happened against the run of play. Marcus Rashford, I want to speak about for that second goal. I mean, the deep line playmaker Christian Eriksen finds Bruno Fernandes, that outside of the boot pass to find Marcus Rashford, then the composure to finish. Absolutely brilliant and what we need to see more of. That third goal, absolute disaster class in terms of looking at Arsenal. They were all over the place. Christian Eriksen gets put through on goal by Bruno Fernandes once again and then he squares it to Marcus Rashford. Finish off the game, done, finish. See you later, alligator. And I don't even think they said in a while crocodile when they went out the doubts. Very rude. So in the wound settings. But yeah, I think, and even Eric Ten Hag, he stressed this. There's still a long way to go for this team. It's still such a long way to go. Still working out whether players are going to be successful. I want to touch on Anthony and, and how he played. The confidence he was oozing. I'm just happy that he was able to get the goal today to just take a bit of pressure off of his back. He needed that. Uh, and, and, and that was that in the end of the day. So big up to Anthony. He saw a bit of skills and there's still improvement to come on his side. Sancho, some bright spots can be better as well. Rashford, I thought when he went out wide, he looked a lot more devastating, which we've been speaking about. Of course, Bruno Fernandes looking really good today in that role, warming into that role, getting better. Christian Eriksen, we've already spoken about him. Scott put, McTominay put in a shift today as well, did what he needed to do physically. He's not going to offer us everything technically, but he does what he needs to do. Defensively, somewhat solid as well. Obviously, Arsenal had their chances here and there, but did their job again. Malassia didn't have his best game in a Manchester United top, but I'm sure he'll be determined to rewrite those wrongs. Same with Martinez. Uh, Varane had a decent game and Delo as well. David De Gea was just about good enough. Didn't have a lot to do, to be honest, considering all of Arsenal's domination, but that was that. You can dominate a game but if you aren't putting real pressure on the back four, on a goalkeeper, then you aren't going to score the goals to win games. And that was Arsenal today, away from home. They just weren't able to contain us in those moments where we were counter-attacking and they needed to defend for their lives. They couldn't contain us on the counter-attack. We scored three, they scored one, and that is the story. <laughs> Let me keep this short and sweet. Now, yes, I agree with everything that CM saying. Yeah, and we may, we don't need to get giddy, but just for this moment, let me celebrate this moment because a lot of the time I try and come on here with with an a reserve type of mentality, but that just ain't me. That ain't me, CM. You know that's not me. 
you guys know that's not me and today we beat one of our fierce rivals a historic rivalry that goes back and i am loving it our old trafford top of the league arsenal are they they're still top of the league in fact a top of the league team they, they won all of their games they come to old trafford this is the big team that they needed to go up against and they failed yeah they played some nice football here and there they may have dominated position but hear me out on this one moments are also a part of your performance and if you fail to deliver in the most crucial moments of their game then that is a failure of a performance in the goals we scored we ripped them up on the counter attack and they ripped their tactic sheet up multiple times in quadrants more upper quadrants at that blistering place blistering ruthlessness conviction that was our counter-attack today and arsenal could not deal with it so those moments of woeful defending put that on the sheet when you consider their 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 possession their nice passes and all them things there because you know where that got them absolutely no <laughs> ladies and gentlemen be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new hashtag glazers out before i forgot let me see some hashtag glazers out in the comments. Because this battle ain't over. We'll see you in a bit. Hey. <laughs>